Okay, everybody. So here we are. It's about 10.30 on Wednesday night. Um, we've got everybody up nice and close to the police barricade because the strategy for tonight, we're told, is they want to start to pick individuals off or people in small groups. So we've had a few more trucks join tonight. We can see the trucks back further. Uh, we just had a couple tractors roll through. The farmers and ranchers down here, I, I cannot say enough good things about them. These people are stepping up. I just talked to a guy who's in his late 60s and he, he laughed. He said, uh, yeah, I'm going to spend the night in the John Deere tractor. That's what's happening. These people are out here, like a seven-year-old guy is going to sleep in his tractor tonight, everybody. That's the, the, the level of resolve. That's what's happening. People are, people are, are dug in, and, uh, and it's good. Lots of passion. Um, lots of nerves. We're, we're, we're wondering when we'll, they'll, they'll descend on us. Um, yeah, this is insanity. This, this whole thing is just beyond comprehension. Um, we're hearing lots from people who are talking about how the politician said this and oh maybe we do that and you know we're we're there in spirit gee that's meaningful very very soul touching so uh so let your politicians know that they dropped the ball everybody this is a justin trudeau this is a jason kenny this is a rachel notley this is your mlas this is every one of them who aren't here right now this is every one of them who want division this is everyone who doesn't want us to be together as a country You'll have to forgive me for shaking, but it's so cold out here that whew, it's hard to hold the camera still. So we're waiting. We're going to be here all night. Um, there's groups coming. We've got confirmation on groups coming from across the province. Uh, total numbers here right now, it's, it's tough to guess. We don't have 100 anymore, but there's certainly 70 or 80. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's unbelievable. This is this is our version of democracy here right now. We've got, uh, I mentioned Brian Peckford earlier and the fact that he's challenging. He's the last surviving signatory on our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. If anybody in Canada knows about our Charter of Rights and Freedoms, it's him. He's taking our federal government to court. That That's big. To the average person, you might be going, okay, it's another individual taking... Our, our, our government to court. This is it. The, this is the guy that drafted the document. He's saying our charter rights are being infringed upon. The, the value of that cannot be understated. So we need people. That's what this comes to, everybody. We need people. If you can't get to Coots tonight, literally, like we need people here tonight, then you have to do convoys tomorrow. If you can't do convoys, then, then get to the cities get it slowed down this we, we just need people that's what this comes down to we know that there's support we the people in the stores in town folks there's people from across Canada who are phoning right now and they're trying to make donations can we buy fuel can we buy groceries for people like these are small town people that keep to themselves and they're saying they're astonished by the fact that there's people from Toronto Vancouver Sydney Nova Scotia like I mean I heard Brandon Manitoba I heard there you go. This guy's from Toronto. We're hearing people from across Canada phoning to ask, how, how can we support Alberta? Canada's trying to support us. If you're within two, three, four hours, drive. We drove just about seven hours to get here. There's people driving through the night to get here tonight. That's the level of resolve. That's what this means. This is not some fleeting event. So here we are. What happens tomorrow, nobody knows, but for tonight, we're here, and uh, the pulse is good. So uh, thank you for everybody. Thank you, everybody, for the, for the wishes, and uh, hopefully hopefully we're able to post because they're going to come through here tonight and try and take us out, we're told. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to chat with everybody then.